The president is not particularly happy with his Wikipedia entry or the Uzbek government's Wikipedia entry. Um, you did mention uh, earlier that there might be ways to... to uh, would that be something which we could deal with? Yeah, OK. He's got all sorts of dark arts. I told him he couldn't put it in the written presentation because it's embarrassing if he gets that correct because he's so good at it. Uh, we had a client come to us uh, last year called Dehabsil, which is the biggest money transfer business in the Horn of Africa. The problem was, when you did a Google search, uh, the entire first five, ten pages, just about everything about them, was about a former employee that was holed up in Guantanamo Bay. In three months, it, you, you could look through the first 20 pages of Google, where after there wasn't a mention of it. And that's just through actually good um, SEO, search engine optimization. People work in our business, we've got connections with the Liberal Democrats and Labour, uh, but we do pride ourselves particularly on the strength of our connections with the Conservative Party. And from my own point of view, you know, I've been working with people like Steve Hilton and David Cameron and George Osborne for 20 years plus. As I say, you know, I, Edward Llewellyn is Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. He was my deputy in Central Office for a long time. Steve Bolton was my deputy in a different capacity in different ways. I mean, I know all these people. There is not a problem about getting the messages through to them. What, what, what do you think about William Hague's... I think Cameron listens to him a lot. Is he on your speed dial? The William? Yeah. I wouldn't quite say he was on my speed dial, but <laughs> I, I guess I... You can get hold of him. I can get hold of him and I, um, I talk to him. So what have you done for Sri Lanka, for, for instance? Well, inside the UK, we've added um, some critical dialogue at governmental level. Um, we have added some balance outside of a couple of media channels. So the Times and, uh, and Channel 4 are particularly uh, uh, staunch in their opposition. And mm. there's a couple of, we wrote um, uh, 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 President Ranaspax's uh, speech to the UN uh, last year, which was well, very well uh, received. You know, it went it went a long way to taking the country where they needed to go. Fundamentally, though, they have set up a, a thing called the Peace and Reconciliation Commission, which has got one fundamental flaw in it and in its remit on investigating what has gone on in the past, to try and bury the past. Um, and, uh, and unfortunately, because that is the case, um, uh, media like Channel 4 and The Times find that the whole Peace and Reconciliation Commission is flawed.